technology that people would have would be their sticks and stones. But nowadays, in our modern society, we would have virtual technology and even robots. Um, these machines are reaching an extent where they can take over human jobs, causing job losses in our society. So what is, called, what, what is this process called? It's called mechanization and automation. Mechanization is the use of <coughs> machines to replace humans, uh, human labor, while automation is the use of technology to completely reduce the need of humans for the jobs. Thus, this is obviously imposing a problem for our, both our society and economy because uh, with people losing more jobs, it causes a downward spiral in both aspects. So today we have Yadi, Tori, and I uh, discussing this issue and the solutions for it. And hopefully you guys will join in our panel, uh, our forum discussion. Uh, so first I'll start off by informing you on mechanization and automation's effect on our society and economy. Well, obviously the increased use of machine means that we can reduce our reliability, reliability on human labor. Um, it is shown in recent research that despite the increasing number of job losses, the manufacturing production still, um, still continues to grow. <coughs> and the obvious, obvious reason will be mechanization and automation. Job losses subsequently leads to homelessness and insufficient funds to for food, etc. And in big countries such as China, they have already, um, from the period of 1995 to 2001, they have already lost 15 million jobs. When automation comes in the scene, which means um, less people will be uh, less people will be skilled or motivated to actually work, we will be more dependent on machines. But however, um, failure in machines are inevitable and machines could cause more damage to us than we could ever imagine. For example, in 2009, um, March 4th, a machine worker in Eng England was crushed to death by um, a machine in their pet food factory by some unknown reason. So as our <coughs> technology advances, our society deteriorates. Um, New York Times reports that nearly 13,000 self-checkout systems will be will have been installed in American retail stores like Kroger and Home Depot by the end of 2003. This eliminates a large number of jobs across sectors of the economy. And Kirk Patrick Sale, a author of several technology books, wrote, in, in the United States from 1988 to 1994, the number of jobs lost was estimated to be 6.5 million, far higher than in any post-war period, and fully 85% of them was uh, thought to be permanently lost to uh, technology or like machines. Mechanization technology was introduced <coughs> decades ago to help us overcome low productivity of labor, uh, unavailability, and hard work. Mechanization affects the agriculture industry as well, so not just the manufacturing industry. So farmers change their production systems to be mechanized, but unfortunately on some occasions, um, some kind of unwanted environmental side effects uh, show up and are created, and the Food Agricultural Organization of uh, the UN reports that soy degradation, erosion, pollution, <coughs> chemical fertilizers and agrochemicals and the loss of biodiversity was cre uh, was cre uh, was caused because of mechanization on agricultural um, and in some locations they were not sustainable in economic sense so you can see that machines taking over our jobs perhaps not such a great idea and so um, who knows because someday probably robots might be living our lives instead of us. Yeah. And 
Um, next we have Tori speaking about the increased use of technology nowadays, such as robots, etc. Okay, so technology has been advanced, so advanced that in the world today, we have robots taking over. There isn't just proof in life, but also in some movies, but with companies such <coughs> as the company Cisco, going too so far and inventing holograms, etc. Nowadays, you can virtually see our long distance friends and set us face to face conversations. Another example of robots taking over is self service. Self service is becoming a new hit. There are now many examples over the world. For example, <coughs> grocery checkouts. Grocery checkouts replace clerks, and also ATM machines have replaced bank tellers. And there is even projectors replacing teachers. So now, as a there is talk about not even <coughs> having to come to a classroom to go to school. Okay, um, so fi uh, finally we have Yadi explaining what can be done to resolve this problem and hopefully suggest like uh, um, and suggest solutions for this. Okay, so the best solutions for this is probably to create more jobs because the new technology is really good and it helps us become more efficient and we can get more done with the technology. But then again, it increases the unemployment rate because it's taking over other people's jobs. So what we were thinking <coughs> was to create more jobs that only humans could do. So and designate jobs for the people so that there was no more like, studies to find a way to have a robot do a person's job. So for example, a doctor have a person be a doctor and stay in that field. Um, you could also do uh, like businesses that have a bunch of machines, they want to go green now. So there are more jobs that require that. <coughs> and oh, there's also people that should be hired to uh, maintain the machines and to make sure that they're working properly and everything because right now machines can build their own <coughs> can build other machines but you still need somebody to maintain to make sure that uh, nothing is going wrong with them. So there's still more job opportunities there, but then again, there's still more jobs lost. Uh, overall, <coughs> a solution, create more jobs. Okay, so next we have the panel discussion for will define and solve the problem we now face due to mechanization and automation. We're not trying to stop mechanization and autom automation. It's just that it's the effects of mechanization and automation on the job losses. So we're trying to find a way to uh, help that so that not as many people are losing their jobs due to the machines. Yeah, but, um, this is actually, um, in like this whole thing, the problem that we're trying to solve is the job losses caused by technology.